Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have July 4th weekend of sales to pull for you guys today. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy. I think we're going to do this in two parts because we have, uh, I don't know, like 30 or so things mm -hmm. to pull. So yeah. we'll pull the first half. <laughs> Let's just pull till the table's full. I pull guess. till the table's full. <laughs> New rule. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so box double A. Did you just say no? <laughs> it would seem like we just tell him, hey, sit there. Don't move. But he would not listen if we did. He's, weird. He's a good boy, though. All right. So these New Balance, uh, like a Velcro hook and loop sneaker for 30 on Posh. I paid $7.99 for those. I guess we can put some stuff over here too. Yeah, we have the two tables empty. Yeah. Let's do a medium flat rate box on that. We've got the boys downstairs. We've asked them to be quiet, but <laughs> I think they're still I running off the sodas that they had yesterday at <laughs> the wedding and the 4th of July and all that stuff, so. Sold some kids Heelys, bought for $7.99, sold for 26 plus ship on eBay. Those are going to go on a pattern flat rate. They're just over a pound. Okay. CM. Lay in your bed that I put here. <laughs> oh, this seal isn't great, but I'm very, very glad to get rid of these. Um, these are just some kids jamboree shorts. These are actually my son's um, and he's turning six tomorrow. They're size 18 and 24 months. So that tells you how long I've had these. <laughs> They've been um, listed for that time? I mean, probably at least three years. Most of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, did, I know I took them to JBF. I think I even took them to Once Upon a Child. They didn't want them. <laughs> mm. Which is surprising. They've been buying like all my stuff and I think these are cuter than half the stuff <laughs> they buy on mine. But anyway, I sold for $6 plus shipping on eBay finally. It wasn't global shipping, but I did see the person who bought these was using a shipping service. So they're probably okay. actually paying a lot to get them all the way wherever they are. Yeah. So just always got to find the right buyer for anything, really. All right, let's do poly mailer. Oh, I should use my new poly <laughs> All right, get both drawers out. Options. Okay. Options. <laughs> AW. All birds. Actually, I feel like I sold three or four pairs of all birds this weekend. So these ones sold for thirty-one plus shipping. I did pay twelve ninety-nine for these because I thought they'd be a quick sale, and they were. So I'm about doubling my money. I think I made like a twelve-dollar profit. So not quite doubling my money, but they sold in like a day or two of being listed. Those are a little bit bigger, so I need a bigger mailer. Uh, I might try them in a regular, but we'll put this on them for now. Hey, B.I. I feel like my hair is like super... I feel like, like it's getting puffy. really muggy right now, <laughs> yeah. huh? It must be about to <laughs> rain or something. The humidity, I feel like, just went up like 50%. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all sweaty. So. That's how I can tell. <laughs> I didn't sell these Crocs. I've actually had these for a while. I don't know why they've taken so long to sell because usually Crocs sell on like a week or less. And these were a good size. I feel like I had them for a decent price, but finally sold for 29 plus ship. I did pay 10 retail arbitrage. And those also might require a larger mailer. Okay, DD. You're lucky you're not in my way. <laughs> he was close. <laughs> Where are you at? Uh, I saw something else I sold in there, but I guess we'll just pull it when we yeah. get there. All right, uh, Joseph Sabelle, some sandals, bought for $8.99, sold for $40 with discount shipping. These sold the first day I listed them, so hey. very happy. The buyer did ask if they were black, and I obviously said no, but I said they're like a pewter silver color to me, which I do feel like they are. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I see them, so I hope when she gets them, she sees them that yeah. way too and doesn't feel bad about that I lied to her or something. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think it was just because it's you know it's hard to capture yeah, like shiny stuff. And stuff looking yeah. different. Did I already put that label down? Yeah. yeah. All right, medium flat rate box there. Box L. Some Marriott men's jeans. Uh, Thirty-five with discount shipping on Posh. Those sold for. I paid three dollars at a garage sale. 
do a mailing box if I have one on that. Yeah, well, we were waiting for the wedding to start. I just sent basically 30% offers on my whole posh closet. Got a few sales from that. All right, CD. Bionic. These are some blue, just like floral bionic sandals, bought for $7.99. I accepted a $25 offer. Probably could have got a little more on those, but they kind of need a wipe down. I didn't clean them that well, so yeah. I thought that was fair. Uh, probably a medium flat rate again on those. Saving my shoe boxes for eBay stuff. <laughs> All right, DD, uh, here was the other one. These are some Oakley. They're like a cargo short, but they're padded bike shorts as well. These had a, so much interest on like all platforms ever since I listed them. They sold in about a week, I would say, for 35 with discount shipping. I had 621 into them. So very happy with that. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like I could have got 40 to 50 on if right. I waited it out more, but I sent that 30% offer. So are those more like a mountain biking short kind of thing? I think so, yeah. Because they're like a cargo I look? No, I mean, I just buy anything Oakley because I like it and I think it sells well, but specifically those bike shorts just had, like I had a watcher within like minutes of listing them. I've mm. had several people asking if I take 30. Right. So. And in general, I also just like bike shorts. Doesn't matter if it's Oakley. Yeah. We've had good luck with them. Stuff people need <laughs> tends to sell well. this in inventory forever probably over a year for sure it's united by blue rash guard bought for three dollars retail arbitrage sold for 20 with discount shipping finally hey, yeah not horrible do a tie back on that all right box of v sold in orbit check it um, <laughs> been a while no did i sell a check it the other day I feel like yeah. it's about to be shacket season again, so get your shackets listed. Yeah, this one's Orvis from the bins, paid a dollar and two cents, sold for twenty forty six plus shipping. This one was pretty, like, kind of pilly. Jackets <laughs> <laughs> has some watch wear on it, but yeah. All right, A B. This one I was very happy to get rid of. Some Tommy Hilfiger. I considered these like Y2K jeans with the waistband and everything. Yeah. I didn't notice when I bought these, the inseam was so short, probably like a 25 inch inseam. Oh, wow. I think somebody either hemmed them or did something to them. So mm -hmm. they've been sitting almost a year. I checked the date, it was August of last year. So, right. Someone offered 18 and I just accepted. I averaged the cost of goods the day I did. I bought these, so it was $8.94. So I'm making like $5, but. Be good to turn them into like a cutoff yeah. jean or something, Definitely, huh? Definitely, yeah. So I figured, I almost didn't listen, but I was like, somebody can do something. Like right. Uh, yeah, we try to stay as far away from hemmed <laughs> jeans and pants as possible. I feel like this box is huge, but we might not use that box. <laughs> All right, CH over here. flip flops. I actually bought these off posh for myself. I was all in $25.92 with the purchase price, tax, shipping, everything. And I sold them on back on posh for $23, so I'm losing five, six dollars, I think. But I didn't like how they felt. They're a little bit too archy for me. I know Chris needs <laughs> arch support. I don't. Mm -hmm. And so when I have it, I just didn't like how it felt. Yeah. What are you making? I don't know. He just made for? a funny noise. <laughs> you okay? Alright, I'm gonna come to Jay. Another pair of Alberts. Uh, these ones bought for $4.99, sold for $29, I think. Um, I don't remember when I sold these. I think it was <laughs> eBay, so. It's a first class label, so it could have been Poshmark. Pretty sure it was eBay. And those will go in a Polymailer. Strawberries. Strawberry. 
All right, CN. Another shoe I bought for myself and ended up not wearing. I bought these for $7.99. They're Lucky Brand, just a flat. Um, they sat in my closet for about a year. I never once wore them. I figured I could let them go. Uh, sold them for $17 on Mercari, plus shipping. Okay, let's do strawberry mail there. Well, just kidding. Ice, Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> All right, AQ. Where are you at? This was a good sale. Full price Poshmark sale. Cole Honda and Fisherman sandal. Bought for $10.99, sold for $64. Wow. Love that. I actually feel like those might just slip into a regional bag. Let's see. Top shelf Allbirds. Oh, these have a box. Is this oh, them? uh. Is that them? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, these I got at a garage sale for ten dollars. They are Allbirds, but they're the Sam's Club employee ones. Oh, that's right. So they do say Sam's Club on them, but they're new. Uh, men's 11s sold for $34 on Mercari plus shipping. So I need to find another box to put that box in. Right. And then lastly, for this first half, DH. <laughs> All right. Um, these sold the first day. I listed on Mephisto. Women's sandals, bought for $8.99, sold for $36.01 plus shipping on eBay. And it looks like I did a two pound and not a padded flat rate. So it must have been cheaper to do it that way, yeah. Yep. So yeah, probably a shoe box on those. All and right. Yeah. Sweet, so we'll get this first uh, half boxed and bagged up. I'm gonna go check on the kids, make sure they're still alive. <laughs> There's something going on yeah. down there, but we'll be right back. All righty, got the first little batch packed up, checked on the boys, they're still alive. They just get a little uh, <laughs> excited in the world of, I don't even know what they're playing, Roblox or Minecraft or whatever they're doing down there. They get a little overexcited sometimes. <laughs> I don't get it because I don't like video games that much. <laughs> All right, sold another pair of Crocs. These are like a youth girl size. Um, bought for $5.99, sold for $20.46 plus shipping. Those are under a pound, so I'm gonna go out in a large poly. This must have been a side guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been having our boys more and more pack up the shoes. Yeah, they've been doing really good. Yeah. Um, the last time I let Cy, he's the one that turns six tomorrow. Um, I said, let me just seal it up after you put it in. He's the one that like seals them all funky. All right. Uh, so this horny toe dress got this in the box that me and Destiny um, did a swap box one time. So if you didn't watch that, well, we'll link her channel. Yeah. Um, she does a lot of like mystery unboxings and stuff too. So that's always fun to watch. Um, but yeah, I'm calling it zero cost of goods because I've already made the money back on the box that we exchanged. So $11 plus shipping. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks for the cool find, Destiny. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's do strawberries matches the pink. All right, box W. Right. right in front of you. <laughs> okay. uh, this is an Eleanor Rose little girl dress. Uh, bought for about $11 and some change at JBF a long time ago at this point. I think I have two more dresses after this, but if you ever watched that haul, probably well over a year ago, I probably started with like 50 dresses. So yeah, a lot of them sold off right away. We have a few stragglers, but $24.56 plus shipping, so about doubling my money there. Not too bad. No. That was just a fun haul. <laughs> All right, DB. Oh, this is a viewer sale. Sold a Harley fanny pack to O'Dallas for $24.56 plus shipping. Thanks, Sweet. O'Dallas. O'Dallas, thank you so much for that support. Um, we got that at a garage sale actually for a dollar. Uh, let's do 
don't know, Harley, it just feels like all hardcore. And then I'm putting it in this happy hey, hey. little. <laughs> I'm sure Harley right. riders like yeah, ice cream you too. Like ice cream, I hope <laughs> you do. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. All right, AF. I'm going down there, Reese. Sold some Skechers sandals from the bins. Have a dollar thirty-seven into these. Sold for twenty-eight with discount shipping on Posh. Okay, let's probably do a regional be on that. Okay, basket Nike hat. I see it right here. Nike hat from the bins. This day my cost of goods was a dollar and two cents. Sold this for 12 on Posh, so not too bad. Very nice. Hat, they're super easy listings, as long as you don't have to like clean them up. Yeah. Cleaning hats can be pretty time consuming. Yeah, I used to buy a lot more, now I'm more picky. This one I did not clean at all. You can tell it's a little dirty on the inner, like brim or whatever you want to call that, but I noted that and listed as is. So we'll do that box. Shelf Starbucks mug. Sold the Michigan mug. That one I picked up at a garage sale for a dollar. Sold for twenty-two with discount shipping on Posh. Very nice. Those mugs fit really nice in the little square boxes. All right, B K. Another pair of Allbirds. That's the fourth pair, right? Oh, right down there. <laughs> Yeah, we sold the Sam's Club, two of the white ones, and now these ones. These ones were the best. Uh, bought for $7.99, sold for $79. Wow. For price on Posh. But they're basically brand new other than me scribbling out the price that I paid <laughs> on them. So. Yeah, if we can't get the, the numbers off the bottom, which we do try, yeah. but if we can't, we just cover it up with some permanent marker and uh, show pictures of it. We don't try to cover that up or anything, but... Yeah. We don't cover up the cover up. <laughs> yep. All right, AV. Sold some shape ups. All right. I just know I have a couple of these, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the right one, but I'm going to triple check before we bag it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bought for actually $2.58, I bought these for because I bought these at a thrift store where I had like $10 in coupons, like basically free. So I bought like four pairs of shoes and then just averaged my cost of goods after the coupon. So two fifty eight dollars sold for $50 on Posh, my fullest price. Nice. Yeah. Those are going to go in a medium flat rate. You just want to make sure on shape ups that you do a bend test yeah. since that foam does crumble sometimes. It dry rots or whatever you want to call it. Not on wood, not to us yet. Yeah. Not on shape-ups. I mean. Not on shape-ups, <laughs> but we have had some other shoes do it, but... Sold some Sunita sandals, bought for $4.99, sold for $31 with discount shipping. Let's put these over here. <laughs> Maybe I'm sorry on those as well. Okay, AZ, Vionic. These are going out to our viewer, Mimi. Uh, thank you so much. Bought these Bionics for $10.99. Mimi bought them for $36.90 plus ship on eBay. Sweet. Mimi, thank you, you so much for that support. All right. And those are going out in a padded flat, right? Maybe to resell them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, those were really nice. I like that color. They're like basically brand new, too. Thanks, Mimi. Yeah. Great. BM, Ortho What did I sell that was Ortho Heel? 32, did I just write the wrong? Oh, maybe you wrote I the wrong. it's the insoles that I sold, yeah. Oh, DM. Which I know is up there just because DM, of the so yeah. you wrote BM, it's okay. DM. I just remember that the other yeah. one was up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thankfully, the spreadsheet would have told me, but right. uh, I make lots of silly errors like that myself. <laughs> uh, these bought for six ninety nine, sold for thirty two seventy six. Free shipping. Shipping was like these are under eight ounces, so it was like three fifty or so. They are long though, so they'll have to go in a larger mailer, and we'll probably bubble wrap around them. Yeah. Okay, hanging. Hoping we didn't have to go in the closet today. <laughs> it's a little messy, not too bad. 
I guess that's a little bad. But. I don't have to show down there. <laughs> <laughs> They're just big. You can imagine. It's, it's the worst. It's like boxes it's, and yeah. paper and <laughs> bubble pops. Bubble pops. But yeah, sold another one of these life vests. So I picked up, what, four or five? Only listed two. Both of those two have sold within like a week. Paid a dollar and two cents, sold for twelve twenty six plus shipping. So Sweet. if I make around nine ten dollars profit on all, that's pretty good. Yeah. What's he gonna do? But what are you doing? You gonna get in the bed? <laughs> no. You gonna come over here and get pets? Oh, the good boy. Oh, well, that's gonna fit that one. I'm probably gonna do a. Big Large floral. bag one. Oh, big floral. Yeah. Yeah. Just because that's a good size. All right. I'll just keep these in case. All right. A few more. Box R. Columbia PFG t shirt. Bought for five. Sold for $12.80 plus ship. So about doubling my money on that. That was a retail arbitrage. Yeah. When I had multi quantity yeah. as well. Do this one for that. Make today mm -hmm. a good day. Yeah. All right, box S. <laughs> Some old navy rock star jeans. Uh, I think these are mine, and I bought them for about twenty. I think not like. I think I bought them on one of the websites. I'm guessing I paid around 20 and I sold them for 29, so I'm probably about breaking even. I think I sold them on Poshmark, yeah. So, not too bad. Tyvek Miller. All right, BY is all the way over here. Jason Wu Mini Melissa's. These have been hanging out forever. I bought these probably over a year ago for $6.99, sold for $36 with discount shipping. So, decent little profit. Took a while though. Do a medium fat rate. And last but not least, AG. Some Prana swimming trunks. Bought for $5.99, sold for $20 on Posh. So, making about a $10 profit there. And we'll do a tie bit. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. So we'll go ahead. I think we'll pack this stuff up, check back in, because we move, we might have another sale come in. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right. <laughs> Stage. <laughs> I mean, that was. It was. <laughs> I was like, should I do Well, we got everything all packed up, ready to go. It's hot. It is hot. I don't know what's going on. I feel good on. about this, though. I know yeah. It was an extra day this weekend, but yeah. the last couple of weeks, I feel like we had like 10 to 15 sales, which is, I would say a normal weekend would be like 30, which this is, but it's an extra day. So I feel right. like we're getting back. I do feel like August is usually when it really picks back, but for sure. If we can keep it going here, we're things good. are looking up, right? I did um, start the board up a little yeah. bit. So basically, Trying to get back to my 15 a day so far this week. I've accomplished that, including today. I did my listings first thing. That felt good. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think if I can definitely keep listing, then I'll be back to nor normal <laughs> for me. Right, right. For sure. <laughs> what do you think about that, Reese? He's over here hiding. I don't know what why. What are you doing under there? <laughs> it's so strange. You have a bed. You want a treat? Oh. Would you? Okay. You want a treat before you we go? Sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? No. Good boy. Oh, yeah. How about, How about two shakes? Wow. It's like you're messing with me. He used to have, like, his manners used to be so good when he was younger. He's, yeah, my fingers bit. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of getting careless as he gets older, and so are we. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for all the amazing support. We do appreciate it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.